So today is Wednesday, and Wednesday is actually Odin's day. And in Europe, he's known as Wotan or Woden. And so the, the days of the week are named after Viking gods. And Wednesday is Odin's day. This is Odin. Uh, he still is going to get a few little touch-ups. He's not actually finished, but you get a preview. And he has two ravens. Their names are thought and memory in myth but for my purposes, I named them truth and memory. And Odin has long hair and a beard. He's also known as the traveler. He's associated with royalty and wisdom, and he's uh, a storyteller. And you can still read the wisdom of Odin uh, in, uh, in books like the Poetic Edda, which has been handed down for hundreds of years. And so he has his two ravens with him, and his ravens travel all over the world uh, every day and bring back news from all over the world, and this is how he gets knowledge. I, I love the little detail. I'm really pleased with the way this fired. Odin has one eye, and the reason is that he wanted to be the smartest god, and he decided to sacrifice his eye for wisdom. So he sacrificed his eye by throwing it into the well of Mimir, and then he hung on the world tree for nine days and nine nights, and nobody gave him any food or drink. He just was there suffering on the tree, and after nine days he fell into an altered state and he looked down on the ground and he saw the runes and he came down off the tree and collected the runes and he was given the wisdom of the runes. So in a lot of ways, Odin is the guy who invented the Western alphabet, the runic alphabet, and he's the guy who imparted the meaning of the runes, which have not only a letter quality, but also a... Um, uh, a symbolic quality. So that's the story about Odin and the runes.